Hey guys, I'll be doing a review on my, um, I'm not sure if it's rare, but from 2006, four foot tall Winnie the Pooh, and on a pumpkin, um, I'm not sure if they made an indoor version of this, I know the other one that I have, they did make an indoor version of, um, cause I had the Winnie the Pooh version of this, and a Tigger, that's a vampire, and I got both of those for free, um, um, so yeah, I, what well, I thought was amazing with this, I, this was never modified, nothing. Um, it does have a basement, I'm sure. One of the, um, basements. These aren't held in with, um, this fan is not held in with, um, like, uh, st um, Allen key screws, I like to call them, instead of star heads. Um, these actually Phillips heads, which I'm not, su I'm really surprised it does have that. But, the non-folding leg ones, um, has two, uh, C7s in it. Very nice, uh, inflates. It's slightly worn out, but it looks like it's barely used. So it says April two thousand six, right here. You can focus, but it says April two thousand six. Um, I'm not sure if these were sold at Walgreens or not because I didn't get them in the original packaging, like the box or anything. You can see it's slightly worn out in a few spots, but not bad. <coughs> Sorry. Like the chest is worn out slightly, but doesn't let lie air out, which I'll just throw a different fan on it if it needs it. But yeah, here it is. The pumpkin's face is a little worn out, but the back of it's not. Yeah, I'll have to do a review of the Tigger one soon. You need, the uh, Tigger used to be standing by a pumpkin, but the uh, pumpkin I cut off because it was worn out, not letting it inflate. This one inflates very tight. For being worn out, I need to back up its head a little bit too, but nothing bad. Um, I do like these a lot of base fan ones, uh, the four foot base fan ones. So yeah, so um, thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and bye.